What's the first thing that comes to your mind? Water. Water. Very good. What kind of water are you seeing? Water in lake. Mm -hmm. What's the first thing that comes to your mind when you see this water? It's all around me. Mm -hmm. I'm floating in it. How old are you there? Eighteen. Mm -hmm. How does it feel to have this water all around you? <sighs> Clean. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. Are you alone in this place? Or are there others with you? I'm alone. What's the importance of this day? I'm just floating. Mm -hmm. And as you float, what do you feel around you? Energy. Energy. Mm -hmm. Where is this energy coming from? The atmosphere. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you to just begin to use your eyes in a different way. And let's find out how this energy is affecting this body floating in this water. How is it affecting this body? I'm one with it. Mm -hmm. I am water. Mm -hmm. And as you're floating in that water, becoming one with it, begin to go within to see where this has come from. Begin to drift into that water as you become one with it. Become like the water. And tell me what happens. Allow yourself to just drift and float. What's happening in this place? My arms feel heavy. My arms feel heavy. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm being pulled down. Mm -hmm. What else? I can't get up. Mm -hmm. Being sucked under. Mm -hmm. Just go with the flow. And just tell me what happens next. What do you see or experience as you're going down? Reaching for the surface. Mm -hmm. I can't get there. Mm -hmm. The heaviness is pulling me down. Mm -hmm. There's a light above me. Pulling me. Pulling me back up. Mm -hmm. It's a struggle. The heaviness in my hands mm -hmm. pulling me down. Mm -hmm. The light is pulling me up. Take a look at your hands and see what's happening with your hands. What do they look like as they're being pulled down? Like lead. Mm -hmm. Why do you imagine your Hands feel so heavy. What's on those hands that feel so heavy? Bricks. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. It's an energy.
energy pulling me down. Mm-hmm. Trying to bring me to the center of the earth. Mm-hmm. So I want you to just stop right there and use your intuition. Is there something for you to see in the center of the earth? What do you feel you're moving towards? The light? Darkness. Mm -hmm. So just turn on your inner light and let's see what it is that's around you. What's around you? What is this place so dark? Coffin. Coffin. Mm-hmm. Tell me more. Where is this coffin? In the earth. Mm-hmm. Is there anything around this coffin? Dirt. Dirt. So you'll be able to use your spirit to just see what's in that coffin. Who's there? Or what's there? Homer. Homer? Is that the name? Yes. Mm Mm-hmm. Are you Homer? Yes. Homer, why is it that you've visited your place? Your coffin? Why have you gone back to it? This heaviness in my hands, Mm -hmm. keeping me back, holding me back. Mm -hmm. Why are your hands so heavy, Homer? (laughs) They're not shining light. (laughs) They're not shining. What has caused them to go dark? Do you know, Homer? They're hurt. They hurt. They've hurt others. Mm -hmm. Homer, let's find out how those hands have hurt others. I'm with you, Homer. I'm going to go with you on this journey. I'm going to count from three to one. I want you to see how those hands have hurt others. Three, going back. Two, and one. Be there now, Homer. What have you done with those hands? I've killed. Who have you killed? people you've killed. Who are they? Innocent people. Mm -hmm. How did you kill them? Fire. Mm -hmm. What did you do with that fire to kill them? Burned their house. Mm -hmm. Why did you do that, Homer? Why did you need to burn their house? Set them free. To set them free. Did they ask you to set them free? Yes. Yes? So why are you now upset about these hands? I feel guilty. Mm -hmm. And that guilt, what's it doing to you? Holding me back. Mm-hmm. So, Homer, let's find out how this body of yours died. 
I want you to go to the last day of your life in that lifetime as Homer and tell me where you are. What is this place? Lying on a bed. Mm -hmm. Are you alone or with others? There's others. How old are you there? Fifty. Mm -hmm. Who are these others around you? My family. Mm -hmm. What do they think of you, Homer? They want me to know they're with me. Mm -hmm. But I want you to take a look inside of you. Are you feeling at peace at this time? Or do you have guilt? I still have guilt. Mm -hmm. Do they know that you burned all these people? No, they don't. Mm. So you're taking that with you, aren't you? Yes. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you to go to the last moment of your life. Go to the last moment of your life and tell me what happens. What happens to your spirit? It's leaving my body. Mm -hmm. Where do you go? Going up. Mm -hmm. What happens next? Being shown a light. Mm -hmm. What do you do? What do you do when you're shown that light? Being shown my life mm -hmm. that I'd lived. Mm -hmm. And that is around me, mm -hmm. crying. They watched me die, mm -hmm. and they're sad. How does that make you feel? I feel sorry for them, for their pain. Mm -hmm. What else do you experience? Freedom. Mm -hmm. And in that life, you killed many. Do you see them? I do. What happens next when you see them? They want me to know that I'm not responsible. I was just a vehicle. For them to be set free. Mm -hmm. But you still have all of that pain within you. You still have all of that guilt and shame. What has that done to your soul? It made me feel unworthy. Mm -hmm. And how are you affecting the lifetime of Greg? with all that unworthiness. Making him feel unworthy. Mm -hmm. Making him feel like dirt. Mm -hmm. Homer, when did you find Greg? Where did you find this soul? When he was at a park. Mm -hmm. How old was he? Ten. Mm -hmm. What was he doing at that time? Huh. He was riding his bike. Mm -hmm. He was being daring. Mm -hmm. He knew that he could 
he could do whatever he envisioned. He rode his bike. He thought he could, he could, he could jump and fly. All he did was to fall flat on his face. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Is that when you took the opportunity to make yourself at home? Yes. Mm -hmm. What have you been doing to Greg all this time? Pulling him down. Mm -hmm. For what reason, Homer? Just set my self free. Mm -hmm. Has that done that for you? Have you been set free? No, I just tortured him. Mm -hmm. Not very, not very nice way of setting yourself free. I didn't know how else to do it. Mm -hmm. Homer, you were shown a light when that body died. Why did you not stay in that light? I wanted to. I wanted to let it go. I just didn't know how. Ah, okay. So all of this time that you've been with Greg, has it made you feel any better to do all of this to, to him, to keeping him down? No. No. How has it made you feel? Disgusted. Mm hmm Is that what you intended? No. No. I think you deserve a lot more, Homer, don't you? Yes. Yes. Homer, I'd like for you to look inside of yourself and find that little spark of light. That spark of light that always reminds you of how you were created, of where you came from. Tell me when you find that little spark within you. I have it. All right. Now I want you to use all of your intention to make that light much bigger and expand it way, way out. And tell me how that feels to have that light in your presence. Feels good. Feels good. Is this a better feeling than you had before? Yes. It is. You see, Greg, when, when you accepted Homer into your life, it wasn't a very good feeling, was it? No. No. Are we ready to release Homer now into that light? Yes. Can you forgive Homer for not knowing any better? Yes. All right. Take a deep breath in. Homer, can you forgive yourself for not knowing any better? Yes. All right. So I'd like for you now to just look around you. And I'd like for you to find your own personal guide who has never left your side. Tell me when you see this guide. I see him. What does he say to you? Be the love. Mm -hmm. Are you ready to be that love? I am. All right. So I'd like for you to just fill yourself with that love. <sighs> fill yourself with that love. And I'd like for you now to see all of those in front of you that you killed. All of those that you were ashamed of killing. And I'd like for you to ask them if they would forgive you. I do. How does that make you feel? 
much better. Very good. Are you ready now to walk into that light? I am. All right. I'd like for you to go with your guide, and I'm going to call in my archangels. Archangel Michael will escort you with your guide back home, back to the light. And I'd like for you to tell me when you get there, Homer. What's it like? Who's there? Angel. Mm -hmm. Does the angel say anything to you? Be the light. Be the light. Very good. So I'd like for you to go ahead and walk with that light, Homer. And may the light of the universe always accompany you. Thank you very much. And now I'd like for you to go ahead and disconnect completely from Homer and take a look and see inside of this body where Homer was residing. Where was he? Take a look at the hands. Take a look at the feet. Where was Homer before? My gut. Very good. Take a look at your gut now and tell me what's left in that gut after Homer has left. There's still something there. Mm, all right. So I'd like for you to go ahead and begin to use my energy to bring that up, 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 and give this energy a voice. Good evening. This energy in the gut, are you male or female energy? I'm male. Male. What, what can I call you? Henry. Henry. Henry, how old are you? How old are you, Henry? Five. Henry, what year is it for you? Nineteen seventy. Mm -hmm. Henry, how did you die? How did your body die? Remember the last day that that body was alive. What happened? Explosion. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. What happened? What was this explosion? A bomb. Mm -hmm. A bomb was dropped. Mm -hmm. Henry, what happened to your soul, your spirit, when you left that body behind? Didn't know where to go. Mm -hmm. So how is it, Henry, that you found Greg? Where did you find him? He was in a dark place. Mm -hmm. He was confused. Mm -hmm. Was he like you, Henry? A little confused as to what to do? Yes. How old was Greg at that time? Forty. Mm -hmm. Did he invite you, Henry, to join him? No. No. So, how is it that you were able to attach to him? If he didn't invite you in? He was weak. Mm -hmm. He didn't feel good about himself. Mm -hmm. Similar to you? Yes. Mm -hmm. A little lost? Yes. So, Henry, what have you been doing to him all of these years? Trying to guide him. How do you guide him if you're so confused yourself? been taking his joy. Ah. Kind of sucking it right out of him. Yes. Is that helping you, Henry? Yes. Mm -hmm. What else do you do to him? 
I ring his ears. Mm -hmm. Why do you ring his ears, Henry? It's a frequency. Mm -hmm. What does that frequency say to him? It connects him. Connects him to others. Mm -hmm. So when you ring his ears, is it connecting him or disconnecting him? What's it doing? Disconnecting him. Disconnecting him. Mm -hmm. What else do you do? Keep him from feeling. Mm -hmm. Keep him from feeling his intuition. Mm -hmm. And why would you do that, Henry? There's some things he's not ready to not ready to, to know, to feel. Mm -hmm. It seems to me, Henry, that you're trying to help him, but at the same time hurt him. Do you know this soul from a different lifetime? No. No. Then why is it that you didn't move on to the light when you lost that body? Why are you here with Greg? Trying to find my way. Ah, okay. Would you like me to help you, Henry? Yes. Okay. Henry, when you died, there was that little, little bit of light inside of you. I want you to find it now. It may be a little speck, but you can make it bigger. Tell me what happens when you find that light. Feel it. Make it's it warm. Uh huh. I like for you to make that light even bigger. Expand it out. It's, it's vibrating. Mm -hmm. Shaking my legs. Is that a good shaking? Yes. Uh huh. So I'd like for you to just go ahead and begin using your legs, and let's go towards that light. And tell me how that feels. Feels good. Feels good. Keep going through that light and see if there's anybody there that you know that's waiting for you. My mom's there. What does she say to you, Henry? She's glad to see me. Mm. Are you ready now to let go of Greg? I am. Very good. May the light of the universe always accompany you, Henry. Thank you very much. And release Henry. And let's go deep inside of that gut area. And let's see if there's anything left after Homer and Henry are gone. What's that look like now? Is there space? There is. Very good. So we need to take that space and fill it with something. Because nature abhors a vacuum. We need to fill it with something that can benefit the lifetime of Greg. What would you like to fill that space with? With love. Very good. I'm going to put my hand over that area and I want you to go ahead and feel that love flowing in. And with each beat of your heart, feel that love as it spreads throughout your entire being. Very good. And we're going to put that into your heart and into your mind. What else would make you feel even better? What would fill it even up to the brim? What can you use there? Does it feel complete? Acceptance. Very good. Let's put acceptance into your heart and feel that acceptance because when you accept yourself first, you can then accept others. So feel first the 
self-acceptance just flowing through, understanding that you are a pure light of the universe, your pure creativity, your pure love. And when you project yourself as you truly are, you make a change in all of those around you. Put that acceptance into your heart and into your mind. Very good. How does this body feel now? Very light. Very light. Very good. So let's do a scan of this body from head to toe and see if there's any other areas that need a little attention today. Look all the way through that body. This body should be white, shining with energy. Is that what it looks like? Yes. Very good. Very good. So now let's work on some other memories. I want you to go ahead and begin to go back in time to that moment when you found yourself outside, locked outside the house. <laughs> I knew you were going there. Mm -hmm. I'm going to count from five to one, and I want you to go to the moment before you were outside, taking a deep breath in, five, going through time and space to that moment before you were outside. Four, drifting and thrown, flowing through the time space. Three, two, and one. Be there now. Where are you? I'm on a ship. I'm on a ship. Describe this ship for me. Silver. Mm -hmm. Oval shaped. Mm -hmm. Are you inside or outside? I'm inside. Uh huh. So describe everything you see inside. I see lights. Mm -hmm. What color are these lights? Red and blue. Mm -hmm. Where are they coming from? Some kind of control. Mm -hmm. So as you're looking at the controls, I'd like for you to look at your own body and tell me what your body looks like there. Got a big head. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. What does this big head look like? Big eyes. Mm -hmm. Long arms, thin arms, mm -hmm. thin fingers. How many fingers do you see? Four. Mm -hmm. What color is your skin? White. Mm -hmm. So take a look at the entire body. Is this body clothed with anything? No. No. Can you tell if you have a gender? No. No. So what is it that you do on this ship? What is your role? I fly it. Mm hmm Where is your destination today? Where are you going? Another planet mm -hmm. with a moon. Mm -hmm. Are you by yourself on this ship? There's someone else with me. Mm -hmm. Is this someone else, someone that looks like you? Yes. Mm -hmm. What is their role on the ship? A navigator. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you to guide me very quickly on this journey and tell me what this planet is that you're visiting today. Saturn. Mm -hmm. I see rings. Mm -hmm. Tell 
me more. What happens as you approach this planet? There's others there. Mm -hmm. What's the purpose of this meeting there today? To learn. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about this. Describe it for me. I'm being given information that I don't understand. It's a it's a kind of a light language. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you to go deep inside. Just allow yourself to go deeper inside to find the translator for that language. And you'll be able to understand the light language now. Just flip on the translator. What are the thoughts that are going into your mind from this light language? What's the interpretation? It's knowledge. Mm -hmm. Sacred knowledge. Mm -hmm. What is the reason you need this sacred knowledge? I will use this knowledge. Mm -hmm. For what purpose? To bring light to earth. Mm -hmm. Crowd out the darkness. Mm -hmm. Why have you been selected to go to earth? I volunteered. Mm -hmm. To bring light. Mm -hmm. Is this a skill set of yours? Yes. Mm-hmm. So in what way are you going to bring light to Earth? To heal. Mm -hmm. To heal others. To heal others. To show others the light. Mm -hmm. In what way, what healing modality will you be using? With this knowledge. Through the quantum field. Mm -hmm. With my hands. To give others inspiration. Mm -hmm. Is this something that you've done before? Yes. Mm -hmm. So today in receiving the sacred knowledge, is it for this mission on earth? Yes. Mm -hmm. What else have you gotten from this, this language? Guidance. Mm -hmm. Knowing. So tell me what happens after you receive this knowledge. What happens next? I need to share it. Mm -hmm. How will you be sharing this? Just by being. Mm -hmm. My presence. Mm -hmm. Shining my light. It affects others. How far out does this light extend? It depends on on Craig. Mm -hmm. He 
he can choose he can choose how to use it he can choose to shine it through the whole planet mm -hmm. through the whole universe or he can he can choose to shine it in his aura mm -hmm. Now he seems to have been blocked by these other entities that were not allowing him to shine his light. Moving forward now, how will that change his life? It'll make it much easier. Mm -hmm. Give him confidence. Mm -hmm. He's very passionate about this healing energy. And he's been told that he's creating his own system. Where is this coming from? Where is this information from? From the light, the light language he's been shown. Mm -hmm. Does he carry that light language within him? He does. Mm -hmm. So how can he activate this light language within him when he needs to help others? How can he tap into it? He just needs to focus. Focus on breathing. Uh-huh. The energy in his hands is strong. Mm -hmm. He's learning how to, to use it, discovering it. Mm -hmm. So what does he need to do with this energy? What's he meant to be doing with it? The sharing, mm -hmm. helping to teach others. Okay, so he'll be teaching also? Teaching children. Mm -hmm. He knows this. Mm -hmm. What is his special connection with children? They can see him. Mm -hmm. They can see his light. Yes. They can see what others can't. Mm -hmm. Now, when he was a child, he was absorbing a lot of energy, a lot of negative emotions from others around him. How does he look now? Clear. Clear. So in the future, when he decides to help another person, what can we do to allow that energy to flow out of him and not accumulate like it was before? See the compassion. Mm -hmm. Understanding. Mm -hmm. he to absorb this information or use it use it use it very good so I'd like to ask a little bit about how can he use this modality in order to make a career out of it you say he's going to be helping children teaching He's going to help mothers mm -hmm. teach their, ch their children. Mm -hmm. Show them the light of new generations. Mm -hmm. So is he here for the new generation? Yes. Okay, good. Did he request this assignment to do this with his new generation? Yes. Okay. What else does he need to know about this? 
He's going to work with others. Mm-hmm. Others who shine the light. Okay. But he's been keeping himself very closed off from people. He seems to always want to be running away and pushing people away. Why is this happening? He he took on energy of others mm-hmm. in the past. Okay. Without knowing. Scared him. Mm-hmm. Didn't know how to work with this. Mm-hmm. What about now? He understands now. Okay. So will he be attracting more people in the future? Yes. He already is. He already is. Okay. Good. The others see the light in him. Okay. And now that he's been able to understand what his assignment is, what his skills are, how can he better protect himself? Does he need protection? He just needs to shine his light. Just to shine his light. Okay. Trust in himself and believe in himself. Mm-hmm. Know that. Understand how powerful he is. Mm-hmm. Why has he been playing it small for so long? He was scared. Mm-hmm. Scared of judgment of what others might think. Mm-hmm. But he says he's also very judgmental himself. He is. Mm -hmm. What advice would you like to give him about judgment? Understand that we all have our own journey. Mm -hmm. We all see the world, this life, from a different perspective. Mm Good. Now, Greg told me that he felt that he was once contacted by other types of beings, and they were doing something with his ear. What was happening at that time? Who was connecting with him? His higher self. Mm-hmm. And his guide. Okay. So what was his guide receiving? It seems to me that one was teaching the other one something. He was. Mm-hmm. Why were they going into his head, removing something? He had a block. Okay. An energy block. Mm-hmm. He knew this. Does he still have any blocks with him now? No. No. Good. How can he himself scan for these energy blocks? What can he do to catch them and remove them himself? Use the energy within his own system. Mm Mm-hmm. Uses his fingers Mm -hmm. to move the energy within his body. Does he know how to do that? He does. Very good. Now, Greg tells me that he's had a lot of headaches and pressure in his head, even from the weather. What's causing that? Old energy. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about that. Old. Old emotion. Old stuck Mm -hmm. emotion. Mm -hmm. From others. Does he need that? No. No. Where is he holding on to all of that? He 
he's no longer holding it. Very good. He released it. He did. Very good. Is that what we did before? Yes. Good. Is this also causing the fatigue? Yes. Okay. And in the future, when he thinks about being out in public with others, how can he work with this uneasiness of being out there with other people? Just understand how light, how how bright his light is that shines, mm-hmm. and know, and knowing that he's helping mm-hmm. just by being in their presence. Okay, good. Now, in the past, he says that he has felt a mysterious infection in his body. What was that? Were those the entities? Or something else? Something else. All right. Is that with him any longer? No. No. All right. How did he rid himself of that? He learned to love himself. Mm Mm-hmm. So if someone doesn't love themselves, do they attract something towards them? They do. Okay. So being that Greg needs to teach mothers, to teach their children, what would you like to tell him today? about how to keep all of these people with this energy infection oh, at bay, keep it away. What would be a good thing for him to tell others? The light is getting brighter. Mm-hmm. Be open to your heart. Your, let your heart guide you. Mm-hmm. Anything else that you would like to tell him about that? Understand that this life is a test. Mm-hmm. And you will be tested. And just know that the light will always be with you. Very good. And now that we understand that, I'd like to take a pause and go back to that moment in time once again when Greg was a teenager standing outside his house. Five, going deeper and deeper. Four, Deeper and deeper. Three. Back in time. Two. Down. And one. Be there now what's happening. What do you notice? In this place, are you alone or are there others with you? Alone. What's happening? The more you talk, the more you'll remember. Look around you. What's happening? feel like a small dinosaur. Mm-hmm. 
long time ago. Mm-hmm. Plants everywhere. Mm-hmm. Nature. Take a look at your body. Describe it for me. Little arms. Mm -hmm. Strong legs. Take a look at your skin. What's the color of your skin? Greenish brown. Mm-hmm. What is this place where you are? It's a jungle. Mm-hmm. Very strong. Mm-hmm. What do you do? I'm just being. Mm-hmm. Living. Living. Mm-hmm. Exploring. Are you alone there? Or are there others with you? I'm alone. What do you know about this? It's very old. Mm -hmm. This earth is very old. Mm Let's go to the last day of your life in that lifetime, closing the scene and moving forward to the last day. Where are you? On a cliff. Mm -hmm. Rocky cliff. It's high up. Mm -hmm. How does your body feel? Feels light. Mm -hmm. I can fly. Mm -hmm. In fact, I know I can fly. What do you do next? I jump Mm -hmm. and jump off and fly. It's so freeing. Mm -hmm. What do you experience? Turbulent air slams me into the rocks. What happens next? What do you experience? Hurt. Mm-hmm. My legs are hurt. can't move. I feel loved. Mm-hmm. Not afraid. Move forward to the last breath in that body. And tell me what happens to your soul. It's leaving the body. Mm-hmm. Going up. 
into a place of peace, tranquility, serenity. And in this beautiful place, you can see that lifetime from a different perspective. What was the theme of that lifetime? Live in the moment. Mm -hmm. Live in the now. Mm -hmm. So by seeing this lifetime, what does Greg need to know? Just to live in the now. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about the future. Don't dwell on the past. And when he gets concerned about not remembering, not having a good memory, what advice would you like to give him? To just enjoy being here, mm -hmm. to enjoy this life, this life we're meant to experience. Mm -hmm. Is this why this lifetime was shown to him? Yes. Mm -hmm. What is the reason why he can't remember very well? He lives in the now. Mm -hmm. Now, I'd like for you to disconnect from that lifetime, bringing it back to your guides and inner wisdom. And Greg has a question about his family, whether they have karma that they need to clear. Let's take a look at his DNA right now. now let's see what's left in that DNA that needs transmuting and any karma that needs to be balanced at this time. What's left? There is no more karma. No more karma. Very good. He's doing very well following his inner guidance. Mm -hmm. Very good. And his inner guidance has kept him away from that moment in time where he felt he was abducted. Why has he kept away from that memory? What happened to close that memory down? It wasn't for him to know. Mm -hmm. Who closed it down for him? His higher self. Mm -hmm. What was the reason why it was closed down? Why he's not allowed to see that memory? plan. It's not part of the plan. If he were to recall that memory, how would it change his life? Just make him stronger. Mm -hmm. Would you like to tell him briefly why he was outside, locked out of his house. Did he take a journey that day? He did. Mm-hmm. It was a seed. Mm-hmm. Planted seed. Mm-hmm. Just enough for him to get curious. Mm hmm To want to know more. Okay. Did it work? It did. Mm-hmm. Did he agree to this beforehand? He did. Okay. 
So this was like a trigger to him? Yes. Okay. Has he had any more of these seeds in his life? He gets shown seeds all the time. Mm -hmm. What can he do with them? Just be. Don't overthink them. Follow his heart. Very good. Thank you. And his heart is now longing to know where on earth should he be? What's a good geographic location for him? Would you show him the globe, please? Where should he be living? South Africa? Mm -hmm. He can live wherever he wants. Mm -hmm. Where he, will he be able to reach more mothers and children and those who need his energy work? The States. Mm -hmm. The States is in bad shape. Mm -hmm. Is that why he's chosen this place? Yes. Darkness? Okay, good. And now that we understand that this is why he chose it, is there anything else that he needs from his past to be cleared at this time? No. No. Okay, very good. So I have a question. Why did you bring Greg all the way here on a day before his birthday <laughs> and a cruise? Why this special day? <sighs> he had to meet you, that beautiful soul, that light you are. Mm. to get him on the right path, mm -hmm. the path where he knows he needs to be, help him heal. Mm -hmm. And part of his path is being able to be a success using his energy. What would you like to tell him about that? Will he begin to attract clients? that can use his energy. Yes. Mm -hmm. What will trigger that change in him? Self-confidence, mm -hmm. self-worth. Mm -hmm. How is that flowing through his body right now? He feels glowing. Mm -hmm. Very good. Any other advice that you would like to give Greg today? Anything I haven't asked that you would like to tell him? Love heals all. We are love. Very good. Are we complete? Yes. Thank you so much. Feeling wonderful all over. Oh. Welcome back. <laughs> let's switch those stones up and let's ground uh, you. Yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. How do you feel? Warm. Mm -hmm. <sighs> That's a lot of energy. Yeah. 
Whew. Shaking, huh? How does it feel? Vibrating? Yeah. Yeah. It's all that energy. It was intense. Do things make sense to you now? Oh, yeah. What you were holding in your hand? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Makes a lot of sense. Oh, yeah. Because of the fact that you're an empath and you were receiving all of that, you were storing it. Yeah. And it just blocked you. Yeah. So anytime anything reminds you, it was just activating that. Yeah. And then you had those two entities. Mm-hmm. God, that's wild. Mm-hmm. You did great. Did you feel hypnotized? <sighs> yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Is this something you want to keep private? <sighs> what do you think? <sighs> I think I could, I want to share it. Yeah? Yeah. We could take out some personal stuff. Yeah. Feel good? Oh, yeah. Experience. Whew. <laughs> 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 oh. It's tingling all over. Mm-hmm. My hands were tingling. Mm-hmm. Energy just flowing through me like. Electric almost. Yeah. Yeah. Well, a lot of people who watch these videos and see that, they wonder why is he shaking so much or why is she shaking? Mm -hmm. What does it feel like to you? It's a high vibration. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. Greg, how are you feeling? Yeah. Yeah. So shaking? Yeah, I'm feeling. I'm feeling. I'm be shaking for a while. Yeah, the whole bed is shaking. <laughs> Woo! So, uh, how 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 did you think this session went? So it went good. <laughs> <laughs> went good. Yeah. <sighs> now, when I asked you, do you feel that you were hypnotized? What did you feel? I felt like I was in a deep. Uh, meditative state almost mm -hmm. yeah you do meditate oh yeah so it helps when you meditate yeah, it sure does so would you recommend that for other people who, oh, yeah. who do this definitely yeah it, learn to meditate yourself learn to meditate yourself it will connect you to your higher self and give you inner guidance yeah because a lot of the what came through i already knew on some degree yeah and yeah. and um yeah it's just yeah did any of this surprise you? Uh, the fire did. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, mm -hmm. I wasn't wasn't expecting that. Yeah, but uh, does it make sense? Oh yeah. Yeah, and the reason I ask that is because a person who is watching this or listening to this gets a totally different perspective than the person who is f actually experiencing. Yes, it. it is a total different experience. Mm -hmm. And the whole. Um, talk we had before mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It, it really helped uh, tie it all together too yeah 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 and that's what a lot of people don't know is that I do spend quite a bit of time going over the life going over some yeah. of the experiences and so when we get into the session like, we connect all the dots yeah it, it's more than just the being hypnotized it's a it's a it's a complete package mm -hmm. yeah, it really is yeah so yeah. do you recommend this to other people oh definitely yeah. yeah oh yeah yeah so tell people what it is that you do uh, well <laughs> right now I'm, I'm doing Reiki and um, I'm uh, I'm embracing it with everything I've got yeah yeah and you're looking to do this full-time I am yes yes, yes. yes. so um, would they be able to contact you in the future um, yes, we're, we're uh, one of the things that I've been guided to do yes. is uh, start a, a, a foundation, and uh, mm -hmm. it's going to be called. It's not formally started yet, but it's going to be called the Light Now Foundation. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, it, I'm going to have a, a Facebook page. That'll probably be the easiest way to yeah. find information about yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. So in the meantime, uh, by the time this video comes out, you can probably look up. Uh, this foundation on uh, Facebook yes because you can make up the Facebook one mm -hmm. really fast oh, yeah. and then contact Greg and and see if he's near you and uh, you were told that you can put this Reiki out no matter where you are oh yeah you don't have to be in yeah. the presence of the person oh, no, uh -uh. yeah it's it, it goes through all <laughs> time and space the quantum field yeah yeah do you feel that this session did something to to change this um, or to enhance this yeah 
Yeah, it did. Yeah? Definitely. Yeah. And uh, where are you? Where are you right now? I mean, um, well, well, right now I'm in Tennessee, and yeah. um, I'm going to be moving to Florida soon. Mm -hmm. um, around the Orlando area, Mount Dora area. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of people from that area yeah. there. Yeah. So. So if you would like a session with me, go to my website, go to the hypnosis tab and newsletter, and you have to sign up for the newsletter. Now, Greg, how did you get a session with me? Oh, <laughs> should I give my secret away? Oh, well, you know, <laughs> how many times did you try to get a session? First try, mm. first try. Um, yes. But I felt like it was a, um, a definite meant to be falling into the picture, yes. the grand scheme. Yes. Um, I don't know that I want to give my secret away. <laughs> um, just trust and uh, trust in yourself. And if it's meant to be, it'll happen. Yeah. 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 There, there's a lot more to just getting lucky. Mm -hmm. The universe works in mysterious ways. Yeah. So don't give up hope if you're trying to get a session. Um, sign up to the newsletter it comes out about once a month and on that newsletter page it'll tell you when my next newsletter is out and in the meantime I am going around the world doing events doing gatherings because just like this one here who is emitting all of this energy that, that is like hitting me like like, like <laughs> you feel it, huh? oh, um, imagine a whole room full of people who have this type of energy just basking in this energy is worth it and uh, it does activate other people yeah so take advantage of one of my gatherings go to the events page and I hope to see you in one of these events because it really does uh, bring you together and and a lot of my clients say the same thing there's no place for me to meet other people to connect with other people let's meet at a gathering Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this session and I hope to get to meet you sometime soon. Thanks for watching. Bye. Now give me that.